Hello and good day. My name is Chris Palmer and in today's ChatGPT SEO content writing video, what I would like to ask you is ChatGPT and ChatGPT SEO content writing tools, are they good or are they bad? Well, I wanted to put the best one, quote unquote, to the test. So my name is Chris Palmer. I run and operate Chris Palmer Marketing for any and all of your SEO needs. Check us out. You can visit the site if you would like. With that out of the way, I want to talk about the most talked about, one of the best SEO content writing tools that utilizes ChatGPT. So what I did, just like you maybe, I checked online, I checked on Google, Bing, and more notably, I went into YouTube. And I wanted to know what's everybody talking about because they're coming out with chat GPT and SEO tools every day and uh, stick with me. We're going to test it together. I'll share with you the results, but bear with me. So I started going through some of these tools and uh, some of these new ones have popped in here. But as you scroll down this video, this video, this video, this one here, almost every single person is talking about the same tool for chat GPT saying how great of an article it's created, right? So that name of that tool, if we come over here, it's actually an extension and it's called AI PRM for chat GPT. And what this does, as you can see here is what's really great and what's really bad, you know, it's up to you to decide is it will give you a prompt. All right. So here I'll click on this prompt here and you can use this outrank article or fully optimized article. All right. And I've tested, I've tried them all now, right? So we did the outrank article for a keyword. The keyword is SEO uh, content writing service, right? We created this uh, article based on the top performer using the outrank article prompt within this AI PRM tool that everybody's raving about. Like it's all over. Everyone's saying, oh, this stuff is awesome. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to not only give it the eyeball test, I wanted to see, hey, are they getting the entities right? Are they getting the headers right? Are they getting basic optimizations right without any human intervention? Because that's what we both want. And that's what everyone's worried about, right? Oh, is this going to replace me? Do I, do I still need to optimize? Does a human still need to be involved, right? Now I had my own assumptions after looking at this content and multiple other pieces of content made with this specific extension, but I wanted to be able to display the data in a way that we could both understand. So run it through a tool such as maybe surfer or page optimizer pro is what I decided to do. So here's what I did. All right. And you can make your own decisions, but I want to share with you the results of creating a piece of content, all right, based on the top performers website, if you search for SEO content writing service, this is the top performing website. I want, and this is the page. I took this page and I added it, as you can see here, we appreciate the opportunity to assist you in your SEO efforts. Our team has thoroughly analyzed the article from, here's the website, and we're confident that we can provide a piece of content that will outrank this and do better. Okay, great. So I gave it the website and it created this article here for me. Okay. Once that article was done, I wanted to lay in, you know, the title, set the title tag, do the H1 tag. And you have to note, uh, the, the primary keyword here is content writing, SEO content writing services. Okay. I just want, I just want to mention this to you. All right. Here's the title. And then there's the intro, but here would be the H1. I just want to point this out. That's, you know, I don't know how much you know about SEO, but I'm just saying, all right, the title doesn't have the keyword and the H1 doesn't have the keyword. I'm just saying, all right, let's move on. All right. Now I grabbed this article. I, I, I did take the entire article, uh, but I want to point this out. So let's grab this article. Here it is. So this is what they gave us to outrank the top performing website or page is this right here. So what we want to do is we want to come out and get a word counter. Let's, let's just check word count. Now, did they get this right? All right. So we'll do a delete control V 536 words. Okay. This is to outrank the top performer. Now I don't know if this is the SERP average. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy all the content. 
it's actually going to take everything into account, which we would have this stuff too, but let's just see. It gave us about 536 words. Or just to be fair, we'll get rid of this, even though Google's count everything on the page, but that's okay. We'll, we want to be as fair as possible. So the top performer has 1,700. Word count isn't the end-all, be-all, but the tools sometimes can be limited by this. Now, you can get other ones to write longer-form content. That's right, but then it gets even farther off topic. Just say it, all right? So now we have seven, and I love chat GPT and I love open AI. Don't get me wrong here. I, I, I just want to point out a couple of things, all right? 1,791 words is what the top performer has. The average might be 1,200. Could we rank with a article that 700 words or 500 words, whatever it was? Sure, we, we could. Now, what I wanted to do was take this article and utilize a tool that we're all familiar with, or at least if you're following me, I'm sure you know what Surfer and Page Optimizer Pro are. I like Page Optimizer. A lot of people like Surfer, but this is a way that we have a barometer that we can both understand, a guideline, a gauge of optimization level, right? Okay. Now, I'm sure you and I both have our own understanding of how on-page should be, but let's use Page Optimizer to give us a score. So we copied our article here. And we added it into a page to test it in Page Optimizer Pro. The name of the page was SEO Content Writing Services. And I want to share with you the results. So here we are in the content brief. And you can see the content optimization score, which is a 8.4. Now, if we go into the to-do list, I want to go ahead and share this with you. The optimization or the signals, right? is a 16.3. Now, I'm not saying page optimizer is the end-all be-all, but we need something that we can both agree on to set a score, a standard. And we're going to use this. And this is a good standard to start at, right? And then, of course, this tool is not perfect. No tool is perfect. But it's a barometer, like I mentioned. So now let's say, okay, well, let's adjust for word count because the word count was slightly off. And, and let's be conservative, all right? Let's go back into our content brief. We have a 8.4, all right? Now, sometimes this has to be in here. So let's just take this and remove. It will adjust this. All right, it gave us a nine. All right. So I just want to point out that even though these tools can produce SEO content, all right, and they're supposed to be optimized and make our lives better, you still need a professional like you and I to look at these articles and make sure that you're hitting the right word counts, the right densities, the entities, the headers. The tools aren't perfect yet. I see these view, the videos doing very, very well talking about this tool here. And I, I just don't want you as a user to go out and think that this outrank article or these tools are going to, you can just copy and paste and use it. No, you still need to know SEO. You still need to get the right word counts. You still need your headers. We still have to do SEO. So I just wanted to point this out. I don't want to make this video too long. I wanted to test out the hottest, one of the hottest chat GPT tools out that they have right now that's not custom, that actually everyone can use, that everyone's raving about, it says it's working great. I wanted to test it out. So with that being said, we have tested this out. Um, we can see that it is doing, it's hitting some of the words, but it's missing some very crucial words in the subheadings, so it's not getting the headings right. The titles, you know, that's easy to fix, but it's missing some very crucial terms. The main uh, terms of the content, very crucial terms. Uh, I, I don't, you know, I, I don't know about this, so... With that being said, I just wanted to point this out. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.